My MSc story, which I attribute to the Australia Awards program, was when I introduced and trained uh, 388 farmers on the use of super green bags to reduce the huge post service losses in my district, specifically Kwahu South District in Mpraeso. Prior to the award, farmers saw post service losses as the greatest enemy ever lived, which was pursuing their lives without any lasting solution. In their case to survive, most of them resorted to the use of poisonous and unrecommended agrochemicals, such as Akate Master, Confidor XL, and uh, an incestuous powder called Atia Special to control storage pests, such as grain weevil. Uh, so what I did was to introduce farmers to this new technology. Oh, I'm maybe a chairman on a chairbronessa in the Guku to come. The babies who are only go a paddle babies are and son a chain, what to do. Or say, Eddie Guku to Kua, we fancy robber in Kahun. So after my award and I arrived in my community, I started on a lower note of educating them to an improved way of storing maize. Uh, due to financial constraints, I couldn't expand the training. So I applied for the small grant to train the farmers. But before I uh, embarked on the training, I embarked on key activities. I have to visit community by community to uh, sensitize them on the upcoming training exercise. I have to register beneficiary farmers, farmer-based organizations who are going to benefit from the training. I have to prepare training materials as well and at the same time also prepare a certificate which I will issue to the farmers to, to show to other farmers that they have benefited from a training. I also embarked on a radio program, which I educated a wider group of people uh, on the use of super green bag. Yeah, who changes the brain? Some say, a boy, a ma, a mo, no, na, omo say, ye bro, no. You see, who say, a swati kakra mai, and I say, a swati kra. Say ye na e e muane say ye ni amano. Odi ba e pepe pepe sum sum a bi chese e di e ye juma. Fasi ba se mfrisha ba ni ense ni di e muane e di e juma e ye ma e e hu se ye. A di agri offices no a chere no ubi a uhi vivi a no komwa omu chere ba vivi a ya bi 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 e ye ma wa hongo a wa e ya uhi vivi a mo sabeka. Po sabes plants rate high in the district. Because of the nature of the weather we have. The weather is humid and that also causes a lot of post service losses, especially with the grains. But uh, fortunately, he has been trained by Australian Award uh, Scheme and with that, he disseminated that information to uh, the farmers. From what I have come to observe and looking at the past records, I think we are achieving some results. People are embracing the concept because they have now known that with that intervention, if they go by that, even those who don't buy the bags, because of the prey harvest teachings that have been given to them, if they're able to do that, they still are able to reduce post service loss. And those who go ahead to buy the uh, bag, in fact, uh, uh, reduces it drastically. Beyond the course, you were taught about the uh, essence of including women in our practice. It was observed that most of the agriculture activities are done by women. So gender equality in farming or in other, uh, other aspects of agriculture, it assisted me or it helped me to include ladies or women in agriculture in my food as an agriculture officer. So any training that I organize for farmers, I make sure there's a gender uh, equality in the training. And this has uh, helped me to have a lot of women contact farmers, which I assist to also improve upon productivity. Now I can say uh, those farmers who used to lose crops or their grains to post harvest losses have now reduced drastically. And farmers have also uh, been able to educate their children in schools, especially their girl child, to promote gender and equal access to education alongside promoting food security. And in all these things, they've contributed to attainment of the SDGs, so it's now Development Goals 1 and 2, which are to promote food security and end hunger out of, in all forms and promote gender equality. So with post service technology uh, training have impacted to farmers, farmers have now increased upon their productivity and improved upon their livelihood as well.
You know, I traveled to 21 communities in my district, of which I trained 388 farmers, uh, made up of 157 females, uh, two people living with disability, and the remaining number, which is 259, being males. This change has really affected the farmers in the sense that those who were using poisonous chemicals, uh, which has created complications for farmers or consumers, have desisted from these practices and are now using the super green bag, which has increased their production, improved upon their livelihoods and also food security. Maize is one of the food security crops in my community and the country as a whole. So helping farmers to minimize post-harvest losses, I see it to be very significant because now uh, even the rural poor farmer who is using this technology has a quantity of maize in store either for selling or for feeding his or her family. So I see this change to be very, very, very significant.